Hello, my beautiful tribe. Welcome to this week's video of Meta Talk. Meta, unconditional loving kindness for you and for others. And this week, I'm talking about something that's really special to my heart, and it's all about boosting your self esteem. I think, uh, you know, we all suffer from a little bit of self esteem issues where we're like, are we good enough? How do I make myself feel better? And then that projects out into your relationships, how you, um, you know, might act around your loved ones, your significant other, your parents. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can boost your self-esteem. And some of these steps are come from Jack Canfield, who is an amazing writer. He uh, talks about self-esteem a lot throughout his career in his book, um, The Success Principles. So I wanted to just take a few minutes to talk to you about how to boost that self-esteem. And we start with my favorite, which is gratitude. And I think you have heard me talk about gratitude several times. You can listen to the other YouTube video that I have about gratitude specifically on that topic. But when you practice gratitude, you infuse your heart with so much self-love, with so much self-care, with so much ananda, bliss, happiness, that it allows you to just think about all the wonderful things that you do have in your life and that you are part of, which boost your self-esteem. Number two is to celebrate your successes. And this is one of my favorite things to do on a daily basis. I have something that's called a victory log. And what you do is every day you write down your victories. And so when your self-esteem is kind of, um, you know, waging a bit, a little bit, and you're like, mm, I'm not sure how, if I'm good enough or am I worthy or whatever that um, self limiting belief might be, you can open your victory log and go in there and see how much or how many wonderful things you're doing on a daily basis. And this victory log is literally everything. It could be that you got up that day, brushed your teeth, took a shower before 9 p.m. 9 a.m. or that you completed your a.m. and p.m. meditations or that, um, I don't know, you went all day without self-negative talk. Whatever that is, keep track of it. And then when you are feeling low, you can go there and read your victory log. So how amazing and cool is that to have somewhere where you can celebrate every single day how amazing and wonderful you are. Um, number three is one that you're either going to love or hate, and that is the mirror exercise. And I do this every night while I'm brushing my teeth. I look at myself and you make eye contact and you say, I am beautiful. I'm doing a great job and I love you. So you're actually talking to yourself and telling yourself how wonderful you are. And I don't know if anyone's ever tried this. In the beginning, it can be a little bit uncomfortable where you're like, mm, I'm not sure about this but it actually feels really, really good to give yourself that empowerment to say, I'm freaking awesome, and do it eye to eye with yourself. So try it, and I invite you to try it for 30 days every single day. And if you don't see a change in your life, then you need to message me because I've never not seen it work. Um, this is also a great way to infuse uh, positive energies into your space before you go to bed. The last 45 minutes of your day are extremely crucial to finding, uh, you know, peace in your sleep. Uh, I hear people tell me, you know, I can't sleep, I have insomnia, I toss and turn all night, I have t night terrors um, or nightmares. And I always ask, what are you doing the last 45 minutes of your day? Because if you are watching a scary movie, Dexter, something that is the news going on YouTube or um, not YouTube, but social media and you see all the anxiety people are feeling, that's what's going to sit in your subconscious when you're sleeping. So it's really important to infuse positive images, positive self-talk, positive reading right before you go to bed. 45 minutes is the perfect number. Uh, so this mirror of talk 
infuses those positive affirmations to yourself before you go to bed. And when you brush your teeth, that's a great opportunity for you to remind yourself, like, this is my time to look in the mirror and tell myself how amazing and awesome I am. Um, the fourth one is to, and kind of goes with this mirror exercise a little bit, um, is to have positive affirmations that will lift your life to the highest vibration. And you can say these affirmations out loud. You can type them up, put them around your mirror. In the morning, you can read them. You can read them before you go to bed. You can have an affirmations book, whatever that works, what works for you. And these affirmations are positive. They're life affirming. That's going to continue to uh, give you that, in, that um, what is the word I'm looking for? that touch every single day knowing that you are awesome you are whole you are love you are love you are peace whatever that affirmation looks like that you're deserving of money you're deserving of love you're deserving of everything abundance in the universe these affirmations are very personal and you can make them be whatever whatever feels good to you write them down keep them in your journal put them on a mirror put them on a big post-it or a, a <laughs> not a post-it a um a big poster board and put them up by your closet, read them every single day, whatever works for you. And the last one is, is a little bit harsh, maybe, is to take responsibility, 100% responsibility of your life. That means stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself it's everyone else's fault. There are two things that you can control in your life. Those are your thoughts and your actions. So take control of that. You know, if you are having negative thoughts, then infuse yourself with gratitude so you can have positive thoughts into your heart, into your mind, into your body. So you have that opportunity. Take 100% responsibility of you. And you can see that by infusing your life with these five steps of gratitude, of celebrating your successes, of the mirror talk, which you know you can and cannot do, it really depends on who you, if it feels good to you, um, practicing positive affirmations, and then lastly, taking 100% responsibility, you're going to see a shift in your self-esteem because you're infusing yourself with positive vibrations every single day of your life. So I welcome you to do this. Write them down, these five different steps, or just choose one or two, whatever feels good to you. These are just tools that I'm providing to see if it would help you boost your self-esteem. Um, I'm going to link below a beautiful self-love affirmation uh, meditation that you can do anytime. This will also allow you to open your heart and infuse it with love, compassion to boost your self-esteem as well. Um, if you're needing deeper lessons on this specific topic or if you're wanting to just spend a little bit of time with me talking about what is going on in your life right now, you're welcome to email me at karen at openlotusmeditation.com. You can go to my website at openlotusmeditation.com and request book a free 30-minute consultation. Um, whatever works for you. I'm here. I'm easy. I don't, you know, it's not a difficult process. You just can contact me and we will make it happen. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm here for you. Sending you love and light. Namaste.